If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. The film takes place in the fictional Lochmouth region of Scotland, near Glasgow. Members of a group of soldiers are taking turns using a Geiger counter to find a small and harmless hidden source of radioactivity in a wide pit area. Private Lansing, Kenneth Cope, finds another mysterious source of radiation where groundwater starts to boil. As the other soldiers begin to run, there is an explosion. Lansing, who was closest to the explosion, dies of radiation burns while another soldier has bad radiation burns to his back. At the site of the explosion, there is a Y-shaped crack in the ground with no apparent bottom. Dr. Royston, Dean Jagger, from a nearby atomic energy laboratory at Lockmouth, is called in to investigate, along with Mr. Mac McGill, Leo McKern, who runs security at the UK Atomic Energy Commission. Single quote. That night, a local boy, on a dare from his friend, goes to a tower on the marshes, where he sees a horrific off-camera sight. He refuses to tell his friend what has happened but continues running. The friend follows. Royston investigates the tower and finds an old man inside who had a canister of a formerly radioactive material, now drained of radioactivity. The boy dies the next day from radiation burns. Single quote. Shortly afterwards, a young doctor named Unwin, Neil Hallett, is having an intimate encounter with a nurse, Marianne Brauns, in a radiation lab at the hospital when something off camera causes him to collapse and begin to melt, eventually reducing him to a charred corpse while leaving the nurse screaming and driven out of her mind. Single quote. Royston hypothesizes that a form of life that existed in distant prehistory when the Earth's surface was largely molten had been trapped by the crust of the Earth as it cooled. Every 50 years there is a tidal surge that these creatures feel, which causes them to try to reach the surface in order to find food from radioactive sources. Two soldiers, Anthony Newley and Ian McNaughton, have been left to guard the pit. One goes to investigate a mysterious glow in the pit. The other one hears his screams and goes to investigate. He shoots at something off camera, but is killed. The next day, Royston's colleague Elliot, William Lucas, volunteers to be lowered into the crack, and on his way down sees the burned remains of one of the soldiers. Farther down, he sees the monster still off camera, and his compatriots race to get him back to the surface again before the monster can reach him. Quote, the army uses flamethrowers and explosives in an attempt to kill the creature, then seals the crack with concrete. Royston points out that the monster broke through miles of earth to get to the surface, so a few feet of concrete will be nowhere near enough to stop it. Meanwhile. He continues with his pet experiment, looking for a way to neutralize radiation using radio waves tuned to a certain frequency. The monster comes out again that night. It is shown to be an amorphous glowing mass. Some distance away, a car with four people in it is badly burned and all occupants are reported as having been melted. Single quote. The thing travels to Lockmouth Atomic Energy Laboratory to get the cobalt being used there. The Lockmouth inhabitants hide in a chapel as the monster approaches them. The creature raids the nuclear facility before the authorities can remove the radioactive cobalt to a safe distance. As a result, the creature grows even larger as it returns through the village of Lockmouth. 
it narrowly misses the chapel and a little girl who has accidentally been left outside. Single quote. Royston and McGill hypothesize that the creature will move through the center of the nearby city of Inverness to reach another source of radioactive material. Royston has some success with his anti-radiation device, which neutralizes a small container of radioactive material, but causes it to explode violently in the process. With no time left for further experimentation or consideration of safety, they set up two large scanners on lorries and use a canister of cobalt as bait to lure the monster from the crack where it is hidden. The idea works. But Elliot in the jeep carrying the bait barely escapes with his life when the vehicle becomes stuck in mud while leading the monster into scanner range. The jeep makes it to a safe distance. Enough for the scanners to do their job. And the creature is neutralized and explodes a sufficient distance from the observers to avoid further injury or death. As the team approaches the crack from which the monster had emerged. However, a second, more powerful explosion occurs unexpectedly. Knocking several of the team off their feet but otherwise leaving them uninjured. Puzzled. The team continues approaching the crack. Presumably to make further tests. As the film comes to an end. Single quote. 